Hi guys, it's Russell. Welcome back to Hufflepuff Russell. And today I'm going to do a, my first Christmas video, my first full length um, Christmas video. So, of 2021. So, I'm going to be making a Christmas cake, which I can't believe. I've already got um, the cake down over here, as you can see. So, I'm just going to be leaving that to cool. And I made it before um, we started this video, just so um, it won't be a two-part like um, last time. So that is what we're going to be doing today. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be making a Christmas cake. And I hope you love it. And I hope this inspires you to do more baking video, me to do more baking videos. And for you to try out baking too. But before we carry on with this video, make sure you give it a like. Make sure you subscribe and turn notifications so we're notified when I post a brand new video. So I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get on onto the baking and wash our hands. <laughs> Okay guys, so I've already washed my hands and so uh, what I'm going to be doing is to doing some, um, uh, what is this called, fondant on top of the cake and then I'm going to be putting some letters on it and you'll see what it will sp spell later. So what I'm going to do is a green fondant base and then with the red icing for the, um, um, for the letters then i'm going to be using some icing some actual icing to and my piper and then to uh, s uh demonstrating with this rolling pin to squeeze them of them out and to make some sort of design so that is what i'm going to be doing guys i'm going to put uh, i've got another packet here so i'm going to put all of it in so all i need to do is just rip this out Put it on the table right here. I'm going to set that to the side. Actually, there's a bit more in here. Put it there. And then be careful with these scissors, they are very sharp. They could hurt you. So I'm just open this right now, put it on. And then what I'm going to do first is to um, knead these together. I'm just. I just got the icing, um, icing sugar there, by the way, just so. It can, um, just in case it, this, um, it will stick onto the thing, I can just, uh, 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 spread it on and then it'll, you know, um, not stick. So that is what I'm going to be doing for the, f for a few minutes until it, uh, like, um, softens or something. And then I'm going to be rolling it out to stick it in onto the cake. So I think this is the right consistency. So I'm just gonna do this bit up more up. So what I'm gonna do is to roll this into some sort of ball shape. If I can get it into. Okay. Okay, right, I've got it into some sort of ball shape. And now I'm gonna use my rolling pin to to uh, roll it into some sort of shape that I can put it into um, on on top of the cake. So I'm just going to roll this out until it's until I'm just going to eyeball it until it's some sort of um, kind of um, shape and size to fit onto the um, thing the uh, the cake. So I will be doing that and I'll... Ah! It's stuck onto the thing. So what I'm going to do is to pick it up. Because I, I just uh, covered it up because it didn't look that good. And I'm going to roll it back into a ball. And then this time, I'm going to be using some icing sugar. To just... Just... Don't need that much. Just kind of spray it onto the, the thing, like so. Just so it won't get too uh, sticky on the pan. Okay, 
Okay guys, so I think I'm back and I've got the uh, shape, uh, the size that I want. So what I'm going to do is to ask my mom, I'm going to ask her to pick it up and then move it onto here. Because I don't trust myself actually with doing that. So I'm going to ask my mom to do that and I don't think she would like to be in video. So I'm going to cut that part and then I'll show you the cake when this thing is all lathered on to the cake. Okay guys, so I've got it lathered over here. It looks pretty nice. There was some bit of like um, uneven edges, but we fixed that me and my mum. So it was generally okay. Okay. Okay, and the, and you'll see why I've got a water down over here so, um, in a few minutes. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using red icing now. So I'm just going to cut this. Then I am um, just going to open this. I'm not going to use it all. So, uh, what I've got to do, I've got a knife down over here. So I'm just going to uh, cut off a bit of it because I only need a little bit. Okay, that should be enough. So, I just need to put this somewhere. So what I'm going to be doing is to sit, be saving this for some time. But if I need it now, I'll just, I can just uh, get some more. But I don't think I would need anything. So what I'm going to do is to knead this together. And, and I'm going to roll this out and then put this on the cake. Not just like... <laughs> I'm just going to, you know, the words, I'm going to use it for that. So I'm going to be kneading this and I'll fast forward to when I've got it all rolled out and ready to punch in. Okay guys, so I've got the red folded right here. I think I would need a bit more, but I'm going to deal with this for now. And what I'm going to do is to put these letters on here, stick them in and then put them on the cake. So I'm just going to stick them in. I'm going to write the word first just so it will be... Uh, so I could like, I don't know what I'm saying. So guess what I'm going to put on the, um, on the cake, what word I'm going to put on the, like what I wanted. So the water is for dunking it in and then putting water on it because I've heard that you can, uh, that you can actually stick the, the fondant on the thing when it's, uh, when it's wet, but fortunately my one hasn't worked. Okay guys, so that was actually harder than I thought. So, whoever said that the, the, that the words that I'm making are Merry Christmas, they are right, because it is a Christmas cake. I don't know if you can see that. It is a Christmas cake, and obviously I'm putting Merry Christmas on it. Okay, so, what I'm gonna do now is to put some icing on there. So, I just need to open this up. <clears throat> okay, so, I need to put... I can't remember actually how to do this, but I think I remember. Okay, so, you put this thing in through the inside section, so, making sure this is that, like so. And then you need to choose either either of these uh, things. So I just need to find the one that I want. And I think I'm going with this one. I'm going with this one. It has like, you know, that kind of crown shape point. So that is what I'm going for. Then, what you do is to put this on here and then screw this on until it is somehow nice and cozy and straight and it won't fall off so I just need to figure that out ah. okay so it moves but it's it just stays on there but I think what you have to do first, if I can get this thing off, 
is to put the icing on first, and then, then put that thing on. Okay, so, icing on. So I'm just going to open this lid. Ah. I'm just wondering if I like this icing. Because I can't remember if I liked it or not the other time I tried this kind of icing. So that's the icing. And it's just going to be in snug and tight in here. Making sure I don't put a lot, but also not too little. Okay, so I think that's going to be enough. I'll just close this lid. And then I think I put this thing on, and then tighten it with this screw. Ah! Okay, so, hopefully it will stay on nice. But I am going to try and do a practice uh, thing over here. But actually, this is not the one that I want. I want the one. Ah, I chose the actual, the smaller one of what I wanted. Okay, so I just take this off, take the lid off of that, and then put this new one on. You can see down over here that it is a crown sort of shape, just like the one that I just showed you, but more bigger. So. We just tighten the screw. Wah. Hopefully it will stay on. And hopefully you can see me. Okay. So that stays on. And I just pipe it. Now this is the one that I want. So what I'm actually going to do is to just add uh, uh, add a bit more mm. like the taste so i'm just gonna add a bit more of icing i say a bit more and then put a lot okay so hopefully this will go as smooth as I want it to go. And it's not as smooth as I want it to go. At least I can just wipe it off and then do it again. But the icing is gorgeous, I'm telling you that. Yes, that's what I want. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, but I, I'll pop a screen. I, th I don't know if I'll find it, but I'll pop a screen. I'll uh, put a photo somewhere on the screen now of what I'm trying to do. And then, then I'll just pipe this down. And I'll do it all the way until I can't go anymore. Okay, so I feel like I need to put, add a lot more on here, so I'm just going to open it and then add a bit more, a lot more I think. Because it feels sort of empty, to be honest. So, that is what I'm going to do, I'm going to squeeze this thing down. So, I'm going to carry on doing this. <sighs> and I think I am finished with my Christmas cake.
can't believe I, I finished this. And I'll be putting some montages on now. And this is what it looks like. And it's so amazing. So I'll taste test it in a second. But I need to clear this up before I do any t taste testing. So I'll clear this up. And then I will be back to taste test my my cake which is looks so amazing I don't think I'll be able to eat it so let's jump forward to the future and let's see what this cake tastes like okay guys so it is time to taste test this beautiful cake I have in front of me so let me just this is the last time I'm gonna ever see this beautiful I've done it. I can't go back anymore. So I'm gonna have a, a slim slice. And I, I'm wondering if this is gonna taste amazing. So this is a chocolate cake with Nutella in the middle, and then and then all with fondant and. And icing around it. So, first taste test. Let me try. Mm. Mm. It's so good, even though it's just cake and fondant, it's really nice. I went down that so I can try the icing. If it's nice or if it's not. It's really good. It's really good. Mm -mm. I don't know what to say, it's really good. But even though it's just cake and um, and fondant on top of it, it's really, really good. So, unfortunately, that will be the end of the video. I hope it's not going to be too long, but that will be the end of the video. That will be the end of me baking a cake and designing it to be a Christmas cake. So this is a Christmas cake. And by the way, behind me, I've got a Christmas village over here, there's candles inside there and it's really nice and it I like it. So I hope you enjoyed this video everyone and comment down below if you want me to do more baking videos because I love these baking videos and I because I get a lot of food and and I like to entertain all you guys and and inspire you to do things that that inspire me so i hope you enjoyed this video guys and i'll see you in the next video but until then bye